I'm here with uh, Jim Deers and Cormac Russell um, after a terrific event organised by Big Lottery on the theme of people powered uh, change which we'll come back to in a moment but I'm recalling that uh, Jim and I met uh, over a year ago That's when right. Big Society was just being launched and we've seen I think really a big upsurge during that year in the idea of citizen-led uh, action. Is that your impression as well? Oh, that's incredibly exciting. I think a lot of it's been rediscovering uh, stories that are already out there in the, in the community because there's so much happening in the UK, the whole time banking movement that's been going on for years, a lot of great work in social housing communities, uh, wonderful stories that are starting to surface. I think what's also exciting is that there's this incredible alignment between government, funders, uh, nonprofit organizations, and communities. The people are starting to discover how important a role communities can play. There's no substitute for community in, in many of the things we most care about. Uh, so I think there's an incredible opportunity right now to do this, uh, these uh, kind of, uh, to take asset-based community development and do it nationwide. So what were the main themes that um you were talking about today and in fact people were picking up on enthusiastically. Well, I think a key theme is about the difference between agencies and associations in community and to start thinking about community development as not something that community developers do, but as something that communities themselves do, and about the role of community developments and being uh, community developers and being agents for real change in communities and helping to uh, provide those tools, the inspiration uh, to help communities do what they, what they naturally want to do, which is support one another and to build on their strengths within their community. Cormac, um, you're uh, developing uh, in the UK and Europe um, support for this sort of uh, activity and uh, what responses are you finding amongst communities but also in local government and housing associations? Sure, I think overall the response has been really, really positive. Um, maybe some of that has to do with the times we're in. Um, it's my observation that as we get deeper and deeper into austerity, people see much more uh, of a role for community. But that aside, uh, the response has been phenomenal because so many people in the UK context, probably buoyed up by that alignment that uh, Jim was talking about, are really up for change. They're really, there's a strong desire on the part of local citizens to drive more citizen initiatives, but also local government recognizes it has to change. It's got to move from being transactional to being transformative. Um, and it can't afford not to. There's quite a lot of uh, professionals that we're talking to who themselves want to use people power change in their organizations to do what they joined the organization to do to begin with, which is to empower citizens. So there's powerful people who want to do powerful things. I think they see in ABCD a lens that allows them to frame that up and some tools that allow them to move that forward. And you've been spending a lot of time, I know, talking to other people in this field, building a network. What's the plans for moving this forward? Well, I think there's a number of plans. I mean, one of the first things is to try to really honor the fact that it's the stories that we should be starting with. Um, both myself and Jim have been appointed by John McKnight as co-directors of the ABCD Institute here in Europe. And we want to really build uh, a strong network of UK practitioners uh, who can reach into communities and support communities directly to tell their stories. So I, I suppose in terms of watching the space and what's going to happen in the space, we're going to try and really build strong online networks, but more importantly, offline real personal networks where we will have convenings where people will be able to come in their thousands and more modestly at local level in neighbourhoods to tell their stories about citizen-led action. And um, you told some great stories today, but I think as you're indicating now, the powerful stories are the ones that people tell for themselves. What do you think are the possibilities there? I think, you know, if we ask the question uh, up and down this country, what stories can you tell us about a time you and your neighbours came together to make things better? I think we'll hear stories time and time again, stories of people power change that have been going on for decades now, stories that have or, you know, really been citizen-led stories, but also stories that tell us a little something about what else agencies can do. So a lot of those stories are also stories uh, about frustrated attempts, uh, you know, where red tape and bureaucracy has blocked the way. So they're stories that give clues to local government and central government and the marketplace about how it can do uh, different things to remove those barriers and support citizen-led action. 
And Jim, you're travelling a fair amount uh, at the mo I think over the past years. Yeah. Um, where else are you seeing this kind of interest and activity? You quote some ac some action in Australia. Yeah, I see it absolutely all over the world. I've done work in China, Taiwan, Japan, Cuba, uh, all, all throughout Canada, United States. And I think Cormac's right. Part of it's the economic times, uh, yeah. getting people think about how do we do work in a different way. It's also the climate change and people recognizing we're never going to get there unless we rediscover community and, and our connections with the place that we share. Uh, so it's a trend that's happening uh, globally. Uh, what's uh, really amazing here in the UK is the incredible alignment um, that you have a national government, uh, large national fund, the largest national funders, uh, and uh, nonprofits and people on the ground all in the same place, ready to move in a new direction. And that's unprecedented. I, I don't know of any other place where things are so well aligned.